Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks, O Lord God. Because you are our Father, you have loved us, O Lord God. You have held us in your hand. Lord, we honor you this morning. Lord, we adore you this morning. For there is none like you, O Lord God. Thank you for your blessings, O Lord God, upon each and every one of us. Thank you for life, for living. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we are so grateful this morning. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Thank you for your loving kindness, O Lord God. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, I am that I am, O Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, who are we, O Lord God, that you so loved us, eh? that you honor us, O Lord God? Oh, what a privilege to be called your own sons and daughters, O Lord God. Oh, Father, we praise your holy name this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you because you are so mindful of us. Eh? Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for your faithfulness upon our lives, O Lord God. Oh, Lord, we are grateful this morning. We bless you. We adore you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We thank you for life. We thank you for this grace, this opportunity, this favor that you have bestowed upon us to come into your presence. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you because we lay down with slaves and here we are because you sustain us all through the night and, and you brought us into a place of prayer. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise. We return all glory, all honor, all adoration to you, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, because you are a merciful God. Lord, we ask for your mercy this morning. Oh, Father Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, that your mercy will prevail over judgment concerning us this day in the mighty name of jesus father we have come this morning to meet with you lord thank you father lord for your blessings that will come upon us thank you because you will bless us with your presence thank you because you will hear us thank you because you will do the miraculous in our midst this morning in the mighty name of jesus father lord we give you all the praise oh lord god Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over us, over the air, over the atmosphere. Thank you for the power mighty in your blood. Oh, Father, we honor you this morning. We adore you. We lift you high because there is none like you. Oh, blessed be your holy name. We sing praises to you, Lord, this morning because you deserve it, oh, Lord God. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, oh, Lord God. We honor you, we adore you, in the name of Jesus. The book of First John chapter 5, verse 4, says, For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is a victory that has overcome the world, even our faith, your faith, my faith. Father, we thank you. As we go into the place of prayer this morning, we thank you because, oh Lord God, your word told us that everyone born of God overcomes the world. And this is a victory that has overcome the world. Our faith, our faith that we have in you, that you are our Father, that your words are yea and amen. That, oh Lord God, when we cry upon you, Lord, you will hear us, you will answer us. So, Father, we thank you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let us begin to bless the name of the Lord this morning. Bless his soul in a worship him this morning. In the name of Jesus, worship him, bless him in all the ways that you know to bless him, to worship him, worship him, bless his holy name this morning. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning. We bless your holy name this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh, hallelujah to your name. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to pray this morning. Pray as the heaven to arise this morning. In the name of Jesus, make me a positive example. Oh, heaven, arise, make me a positive example. In the name of Jesus, ask heaven to arise on your behalf this morning, on behalf of your home, on behalf of your children, of your husband, on behalf of everything that concerns you this morning. Oh, heaven, arise, make me a positive example. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, heaven. 
Help me. Make me a positive example. In the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord to, to arise this morning. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father. Arise in your power. Surprise me. In the name of Jesus. As the Lord to surprise you this morning. And what do you, where do you need surprise this morning? As the Lord to surprise you this morning. Oh God, my Father. Arise in your power. Surprise me over my children, surprise me over my husband, surprise me over my colleagues, surprise me over my ministry, surprise me over my relationship with you, God, surprise me. Where do you need surprise this morning? Ask the Lord to surprise you this morning. In the name of Jesus, for everyone that is born of God overcomes the world. That is the word of God this morning. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So as the Lord this morning, Lord, I need your surprise in my life, in this area of my life, in my health, I need your surprise. Surprise me, heal me, Lord. Give me sound health. In my business, Lord, I need you to surprise me. Make that business to flourish. Where do you need surprise this morning? Oh, that child that is of concern to you has a lot to surprise you this morning. Concerning this child, oh Lord God, I need a turn around in his life. I need a turn around in our life. Has a lot to surprise you this morning. As you shall be given, ask him to surprise you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this morning, Father, Lord, wherever I've been nailed down, nailed down by whatever thing, whatever situation, whatever circumstances, eh, as the Lord to arise this morning and draw you out and draw me out eh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, I pray this morning. Oh, wherever I've been nailed down, nailed down by circumstances of life, eh, nailed down by situations, eh, nailed down by society, in any way, Lord, that have been nailed down. Father, Lord, arise in your power and in your might and draw me out this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning. As the Lord to arise in his power, draw you out, uh, draw your family out uh, in any way that you have been nailed down, in any way have been nailed down. Father, arise in your power, arise in your might and draw me out. Uh, by your power, by your might, in the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord this morning to arise. Father, Lord, arise. Take me away from the kingdom of lack, in the name of Jesus. Take me away from that kingdom. I do not belong to that kingdom. As the Lord this morning, take me away. Take my household away from the kingdom of lack. I live in plenty. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning as the Lord lives by power, by fire, I shall arise in the name of Jesus. My business shall arise in the name of Jesus. My marriage shall arise in the name of Jesus. My children shall arise in the name of Jesus. What do you need reason in your life this day? Pray this morning as the Lord lives. As the Lord lives this morning, in the name of Jesus, we arise. We arise in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning, O oh, heavens of signs and wonders, open unto me, in the name of Jesus. O oh, heavens of signs and wonders, open unto me. Open unto every aspect of my life. Open unto my home. Open unto me. O oh, heavens of signs and wonders. I open unto me. Concerning my children, open unto me. Heavens, open unto me. Heavens of signs and wonders. Oh, Father Lord, let the world see your signs in my life, in my home, in all that I do, and let them wonder of your love, of your kindness, in the mighty name of Jesus. As the Lord this morning to arise in his power and his might, restore my angels of blessings. 
Oh, Lord, my Father, arise this morning. Restore my angels of blessings in the name of Jesus. Blessings of healing, blessings of health, eh? blessings of revelation, blessings of wisdom, blessings of breakthroughs. Eh? As this morning, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, my Father, arise. Restore my angels of blessings, blessings of direction. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you, King of glory, this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, as the Lord this morning. Oh, Lord, my Father, enlarge my coast, even beyond my own widest dream. Enlarge my coast. Oh, Lord, my Father, enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning as your Father in heaven, oh Lord, my Father, or put evil things that are against my advancement in life in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord to uproot them. Everything, everything, evil things, whatever things they are that are against my advancement in life, ask the Lord to uproot them this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, my Father, plant into my life good things that will advance my course this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, plant into my life, plant into my home, plant into that business, plant into my relationship with you, Lord. Good things that will advance my course. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness in my life, this day, in the name of Jesus, receive termination. In the name of Jesus, a permanent one. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness in my life, this day, I speak death to you. In the name of Jesus, receive permanent termination. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you this morning because you are a good Father. We worship you. We adore you. For there is no like you, oh, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Before we continue with our prayers, we want to listen to the word of God this morning. This morning, we're looking at a common victory in God's presence. In God's presence. That is where our victory lies. And even a common one that made people to say, what? How? When? How did it happen? And so shall it be for us in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to be read two different Bible verses. I will read Matthew 28 verse 20. And it says that, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And no, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Father, we thank you because you will always, always be with us. No matter what happens, no matter where we go, you are always with us and you will always be with us. I'm going to read Exodus 29, 45 to 46. He said, then I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. They will know that I am the Lord their God who brought them out of Egypt so that I might dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. He is the Lord my God. He is the Lord your God. He is our God. And our God is able. Our God is awesome. Father, we thank you for your word. Father, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you. We adore you, Father Lord for bringing to our remembrance that it is only in your presence, it is only in you, that is where our victory lies, even an uncommon one, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
God wants his presence to be with us, his people, his children. As we just read in Exodus 29, 45 through 46, he said he would dwell among the people of Israel, among us now. And be their God. Be our God. Be my God. Be your God. And he said, they shall know that he is the Lord, their God, who brought them out of the land of Egypt, that he might dwell among them. He is still the same God. He was, he is, and he is, he is now. So he is your God. He is my God. And he wants us to know that he is the one who has brought us, who will bring us out of that captivity, out of that situation, out of that challenges. He says that brought them out of the land of Egypt, brought them out from slavery so that he can dwell among them and is dwelling among us now. But we need to ask ourselves, do we give him room to dwell among us, to dwell with us, to dwell in us? Our uncommon victory is tied to the presence of God. The presence of God is felt all over the world. It's present in our lives. Even as we speak now, it's present everywhere. Yes, we don't see his presence. Because of life's distractions, because of challenges, because of too much noise around us that, sh that shield us from hearing his voice. God does not want us to live our life alone. No. If we go back to the beginning, Adam and Eve, the Bible tells us that God's presence will come down in the evening of the day. He will talk. He will commune with them in the garden. So our life is a walk with God. That is where our victory lies. We can go on and go on and on and on about people in the Bible that God's presence were with. You remember Enoch. The Bible says Enoch walked with God. His presence was also with Noah when he built the ark. Abraham was called father of nations. God was in his life. So also for us this day, we can gain the presence of God. We just have to be obedient to his word. Be obedient to his word. And having God's presence in our life is of various, various advantages. When we are lonely, his presence will share us up. Are you worried? Even lady? His presence will calm down. Because if God is with us, when we go through challenges, we don't have to worry. Even when we are tempted, his presence will help us out. So we need to be conscious of his presence. We need to consciously, intentionally do things, be in his presence. The psalmist says, be still and know that I am God. God's presence will help us, help you, help me to develop a spirit of praise. 
because he ha he happens the praises of his people. God's presence will bring happiness. God's presence will bring uncommon victory. Because every time we are in his presence, we are surrounded by thousands of angels. I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that God's grace will be enough for us to always be in his presence. That we will not allow sin, the pleasure of the world, to cut us off from the presence of God. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you because your son paid it all on the cross. Thank you because he came to redeem us. Thank you, Lord, because you did all of this so that you can be our God and we can be your people. So, Father, we thank you this day. Father, we give you praise this morning as your word has come to us, O Lord God. We know that it is only in your presence, O Lord God, that our victory lies. Glory be to your name, Father Lord. We bless you, Lord. We honor you. We adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. We continue with our prayer this morning. As we pray for ourselves this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has come to us this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, through the word of God, through the pages of the Bible, say then I will dwell among the Israelites and be their God. The, the Lord will dwell among us. He will be our God. And we will know that it is the Lord our God. I don't know what is that thing. Let him bring you out of it. That challenge is that chaos. Tell it to him. Tell it to Jesus. He's the friend. He's a friend. He's a father. He's all in all. He's only in his presence. That is where our victory lies. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of glory. Hallelujah to your name. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that my angels of assistance arise and, arise and locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that my angels of assistance arise and locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my angels of assistance Arise and locate me in the name of Jesus. Where do you need assistance this morning? Where do you need assistance this morning? Are you observing all things whatsoever that you have been commanded? Where do you need assistance this morning? Oh, Father, Lord, we ask for your assistance this morning. Lord, we need to be in your presence, oh, Lord God. So, Father, we ask for your assistance. Everything, all things, taking us away from your presence. Father, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus that you will help us to do away with those things in the name of Jesus. Ask the angel of God for assistance this morning. Ask him for assistance this morning. And you will testify to the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning because you, Lord, you go with us to fight for us against every seemingly attack 
You are the one that saves us. Pray this morning. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, my God, because it is you that goes with me. In this life, in this journey of life, in all that I do, in all that I hope for, it is you that goes with me. It is you that fight for me. Help me, Lord. Help me so that continually I'll be in your presence. I want to know you more. Help me to know you more. Help me to always be in your presence. Because that is where the power is. The power from common victory lies in your presence, is in your presence. Lord, I want to be in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that the light of God is in me. Darkness cannot abide in me and cannot overshadow me. In the mighty name of Jesus, the light of God is in me. Darkness cannot, will not abide in me, in my home, in my business, in my marriage, in my health. Darkness cannot abide and cannot overshadow me. In the mighty name of Jesus, because... I am light. That's what the word of God says. The light of God shall be seen over me, over everything that concerns me, my job, my home, my business, my health. The light of God is shining through me and all I shall see it in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you, Father Lord, because the light of God is in us this morning. And because of that, darkness cannot and will not abide in us and cannot and will not overshadow us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father Lord, we thank you this morning because the light of God shall be seen all over us, all over us, every aspect of our lives. The light of God shall be seen. And all I shall see it together in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. In our weakness, that's where the strength of the Lord is. Pray this morning. I can do and I possess all things. I possess my uncommon victory through Christ who strengthens me in the name of Jesus. I can do and possess all things. I possess my uncommon victory this morning through Christ who strengthens me because I will always be in his presence. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray this morning that my God shall supply all my needs, everything that I need to be in God's presence. Is it health? Is it healing? What is it that you need to always be in God's presence? He can supply it. He's our supplier. Pray this morning. My God shall supply all my needs. All the needs that I need to be in his presence, he shall supply all of them according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. For everyone, oh Lord God, praying unto you this morning. Lord our God, that you will supply all the needs that we need, oh Lord God, to be in your presence. Needs of health, needs of healing, needs of sound mind. We need sound mind to be in your presence, oh Lord God. We need to have good health to be in your presence, oh Lord God. We need joy, we need peace in our lives, in our homes, around us. Oh, Father, we thank you because you are supplying all this need for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, I thank you because my heart is comforted. Because of your word that has come to me, my heart is comforted. In the name of Jesus, my heart is comforted. 
Because you, God, you are God of provision. You will provide for me. You will provide for my home. You will provide for everyone, oh Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus that I trust in the word of God. The word of God stands sure when I speak it. It will accomplish the purpose for which I have spoken it in the mighty name of Jesus. So what is that word that you are trusting on, that you are speaking to him this morning? This morning when we started, we read 1 John 5, 4. Say, for everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Your faith, my faith. So what is the word of God that you are trusting on this morning? Because this word stands sure. Says this word stands sure when we speak it. When I speak it, personalize it for yourself this morning. Personalize it for yourself. He says it will dwell among us, among the Israelites. It will dwell among us this day. And he will be our God. That's the word of God. He said he will be your God. He will be my God. So speak his word. Stand up on this word this morning. What purpose do you want this word to accomplish for you this morning? What do you want this word of God that has come to you this morning? What do you want it to accomplish in your life? Are you observing the command that the Lord has given unto you? So that I can always be with you, be with me, even unto the end of the world. Are you trusting in this world? Are you believing in this world? This world works. The word of God works. The word of God is active. The word of God is sharp. The word of God travels. It accomplishes what it's sent to do. Trust in the word of God this morning. Because it stands sure. And believe it. Because this is where the victory lies. This is where we overcome the world. This is where our uncommon victory. This is where it stands. This is where it belongs. This is where it comes from. That is word, the word of God. We accomplish the purpose for which you have spoken it, for which I have spoken it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. For there is none like you, oh Lord God. Oh, thank you, Father. Pray this morning that all oh, presence of God overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Pray this morning that the presence of God will overshadow your life, my life, our life in the name of Jesus. And even everything that we do in the mighty name of Jesus. Presence of God overshadow my life, overshadow my home, overshadow my business in the mighty name of Jesus. That is when that business can prosper. That is when that home can prosper. If the presence of God dwells in there. Pray this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, I will not push myself away from the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, I will not push myself away. Oh, Father, I will not push myself away from your presence. In the name of Jesus, help me, Lord. I need your help. I cannot do it by myself. Pray this morning. Every negative thing, a crying over my life because of the presence of God in my life, shut up now. They have to shut their mouth. In the name of Jesus, Pray, 
that the presence of God will overwhelm you, will overwhelm your home, overwhelm everything that consigns you in the name of Jesus. Oh, presence of God, overwhelm me, overwhelm my hope, overwhelm my business, overwhelm my ministry, overwhelm the call upon my life. Presence of God, I need you in my life. Overwhelm me in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, presence of God, overwhelm us, oh Lord God, as we have come to you this morning, because we know that it's only in your presence that our victory lies. So we ask this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your presence will overwhelm us. Each and every one of us, and even the family that we represent, that the presence of God will overwhelm us, overwhelm our home, overwhelm every member of our household, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning, that any power that is working against the presence of God in my life, let that power expire this morning in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names. Powers working against the presence of God in my life, expire this morning in the name of Jesus. Power working against the presence of God in the life of my children, in the life of every member of my household. This morning, I speak death to you. Aspire in the name of Jesus. Powers working against the presence of God in any life this morning on this prayer platform. We speak death to you this morning. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning that the presence of God will baptize our lives in the name of Jesus. Oh, presence of God, baptize my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, presence of God, baptize every life this morning that has come to meet with you this morning. Presence of God, baptize every life this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us ask the Holy Ghost fire to burn in our spirit, in our soul, in our bodies, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire, burn in my spirit, in my soul, in my body, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it burn everything that will hinder the presence of God in my life. Let the fire of God burn it out in the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost fire, born in our spirit, in our soul, in our body this morning. For everyone praying to you at this time. For everyone that will listen to this and pray along. Oh, Father, we ask that the Holy Ghost fire, we born in the spirit, in the soul, and in the body. And born everything that is contending with the presence of God in each life. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of God burn it out. Anything contending, oh Lord God, with the presence of God in our lives, receive the fire of God this morning. I'm born to ashes in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray this morning in the name of Jesus that I stand against every faith destroyer in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, every faith destroyer, everything, anything that destroys faith, I stand against it this day in my life. In the name of Jesus, in the life of your people, Lord, we stand against every faith destroyer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this morning. This is a new week. It's a privilege. It's an honor to witness another week. Pray this morning in the name of Jesus. As I go into this new week, I bulldoze myself into breakthroughs. I bulldoze myself into God's presence. As I go into this week, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you this morning. In the name of Jesus, 
Because as we go into this week, the power, power to overcome every obstacles, obstacles to our breakthrough, obstacles to be in your presence. Father, we thank you because we received the power this morning to overcome them. Oh, we give you praise this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. Oh, blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah to your name in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We adore you this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we begin to round up, even before we go into intercessory, intercessory prayer this morning, somebody needs to hear this this morning. The word of God in Isaiah, Isaiah 40, verse 4 to 5. It says, every valley shall be raised up. Every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level. The rugged places a plain. Verse 5. It says, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed. And all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The mouth of the Lord has spoken and is speaking to somebody this morning. In the name of Jesus, every valley shall be raised up. That valley keeping you down, depriving you from the presence of God, this morning shall be raised up. As we go into this new week, every valley, depriving children of God from God's presence shall be raised up this morning in the name of Jesus. Every mountain hovering around, blocking the presence of God in the life of somebody this morning. Every hill that is so high will be made low in the name of Jesus. Those rough ground, those challenges, those chaotic situations, every rough ground shall become level in the name of Jesus. Oh, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed in the life of somebody this morning. In the name of Jesus. And everyone, everyone around you will see it. Everyone around you will know it. Because when that glory comes, it shall be revealed. It will be revealed and it must be revealed in the name of Jesus. The mouth of the Lord has spoken this concerning you this morning, concerning me this morning, concerning somebody in particular this morning. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, we bless your holy name this morning. We give you all the praise, oh, Lord God. Father, we thank you. This is a new week, oh, Lord God. We know, Lord, that you are still on the throne, that you are still a good father, you are still faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint us. Father, we give you praise, Lord. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we pray that as we go into this new week, Lord, you will make your face to shine upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that you will keep us. Lord, that your peace will surround us in the name of Jesus. Father, as we go into this week, Lord, we declare that we'll be announced, we'll be elevated in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, as we go into this week, Lord, you will fill us. Lord, your presence will go ahead of us, go with us and be with us in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare this morning that as we go into this new week, no weapon of the enemy fashion against us will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning, that as we go into this week, we shall possess our possession in the mighty name of Jesus, that anywhere the soul of our feet shall touch, 
is for us, O oh Lord God, to capture in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for sound health for this new week in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because we live in plenty as we go into this new week in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, wherever we need help, when we cry to you for help, uh, a thousand we answer us, oh Lord God. Ten thousand we arise for our help in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we move from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus, we go from strength to strength. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that your blood will avail for us. That your name, Jesus, the name that is above all names. Lord, we call upon this name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. The name above all names. Thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, because we know when we call upon your name, something happens, something supernatural, something wonderful, something wholesome. And we claim all these beautiful things as we go into this new week. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. Father, we bless your holy name this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we are interceding for our students. We bless the name of the Lord for all of our students. Our God is good. All the time is a good God. You know, just like that, the school year is, you know, even for some it has ended. For some, they just have a few more weeks to go. And that's it. The school year is over. So why not just give God all the praise this morning on behalf of all the students? You know, it does not matter whether you, any of your children are in school or not. We are interceding. So they don't have to be yours. Interceding for all students. All students in your life, in your family, all students all over the world intercede for them this morning. Bless the name of the Lord on their behalf this morning. Thank God for what God is doing for them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you as we leave students before you this day. Lord, we thank you for how you have sustained them all through the school year. For some, the school year is over. For some, they just have some few weeks to go and the school year is over they will be on vacation. They are done with that school year. Some are moving into the workforce. Some are moving into a higher class. Some are moving into going to college. And they will be leaving home. Oh, Father, we thank you for this one. We thank you for your mighty hand upon them, O oh Lord God. We thank you for all these students because they are for signs and wonders, O oh Lord God. Lord, we give you praise, O oh Lord God. Oh, Father, Lord, as we read in your word this morning, oh, Father, we are thanking you that the glory of the Lord will be revealed in the life of all these students eh? and the old people will see it. Eh? All people of the world will see it. Eh? Will see your glory upon them in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for some, they are done. They are done with schooling. They've gone. They've spent 13 years. They've spent four years. They've spent eight years. And now they are done. Oh, Father, on behalf of such, we thank you. We thank you for wisdom that you granted unto them. We thank you for knowledge. We thank you for understanding. We thank you for spirit of excellence. We thank you because you perfected what, they, what you started in their life. Lord, on behalf of this one, we say thank you. Also, Father, Lord, as this ones go into the workforce, eh? Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that the work that befits your beloved though you will grant unto this ones in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, some are going higher. They are going to colleges, oh, Lord God. Oh, Father, we ask that you will choose for this ones in the name of Jesus. For as many opportunities that have come their way, for as many admissions that have come their way or will come their way, Lord, we ask that these ones will choose right, oh, Lord God, that they will go where your presence will be with them, where your presence will dwell with them, eh? in the mighty name of Jesus, because that is where their victory is. 
And these ones will finish, they will finish well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for all those that are just leaving the comfort of their parents, the comfort of home to begin school. Lord, we thank you this morning. Lord, we thank you because these ones will acclimatize in the name of Jesus, because your presence will go with them. Your presence will be with them. It's a new thing for them. It's going to be a new thing for them. But Father, Lord, you will sustain them in the mighty name of Jesus. Peter shall be well with them in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, Lord, we know some of these students are struggling. They are struggling. In their academics, they are struggling. In their emotions, they are struggling. In their mental health, they are struggling because they have so many things packed up in their plates. Oh, Father, Lord, we lift such students before you this morning. We ask that every valley before them shall be raised up, O oh Lord God. Every valley that is drowning them, drowning their emotions, drowning their physical health, Lord, in the name of Jesus, they shall be raised up in the mighty name of Jesus. And every challenge that stands as a mountain, every challenge that stands as a hill that surrounds these swords will be brought low because you will bring them down. You will bring this hill down in the name of Jesus. That challenge is, oh Lord God, in that subject, that challenge is, uh, oh, with that lecturer, that challenge is, uh, with that professor, oh, Father, Lord, they are all rough ground. Uh, Father, we thank you because they shall become level in the name of Jesus, because you will give them victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for sound mind for this ones, because that is what you have given unto us, sound mind. We thank you for such students this morning that they receive sound mind in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father Lord, because you would dispatch your angels to this world to comfort, to minister to them, O oh Lord God, so they can find you and be in your presence and victory will be theirs in the name of Jesus, in the academics, in every aspect of their life. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because your presence will come upon these ones and they will receive their victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we give you praise this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we want to thank you for those students, those ones that they are doing excellently well. Yes, Lord, this is your grace, oh, Lord God. We thank you for their life. Lord, we lift such students before you, oh, Lord God that these ones will not be wise in their own wisdom, O Lord God, that they will realize that it's a gift that you, Lord, you have given unto them, and that they continue to be in your presence. They continue to seek your face, O Lord God, so they can hold on to this victory that you have given them, the spirit of excellence that make them to excel, and that they continue to excel in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise this morning. Concerning all of our students, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless your holy name because you will continue to do excellently well with them in all of their life's endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, we honor you, we adore you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray for all the teachers at this time, all the teachers, all the lecturers, all the professors, even the cooks, even the janitors in the school, the ones that make the classroom clean for them to come in, the one that washes after them, the bedroom. You know, let us lift everyone, oh Lord God, that are in the lives of this student. Let us lift them before the throne of grace this morning. Let us thank God for their life. Let us thank God for the profession that they have chosen to be a teacher, to be a lecturer, to be a professor. Let us thank God for the knowledge that they are impacting in the life of these students. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. Lord, we bless your holy name for everyone, oh Lord God, aside the family that is impacting the life of all of our students that we have lifted before you this morning. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you perfect all that concerns them, their own children, their own family as well, in the name of Jesus. 
Let us ask for strength that the Lord will continually strengthen this ones in the name of Jesus. That for as many of these ones, O oh Lord God, that are gone far away from God's presence, or that do not even know him at all, that the Lord, by his mercy, by his mercy, will show himself to these ones in the name of Jesus, so they can dwell in the presence of God in the name of Jesus. And will there be any challenges in the life of any of these ones? Father Lord, we thank you that you will draw them into your presence and they will receive their uncommon victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name this morning. We thank you for how you have moved. We thank you for what you have enabled us to do this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you for everyone that has come to meet with you this morning. Lord, we worship you, we adore you. We thank you because you have heard our voice this early morning and you have hacking unto us. As we go into this new week, Father, we give you praise that we'll continually be in your presence all the days of our lives. And we see all of our victory in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. If the, if the time permits, there are